on my seat, and this is my talk show. Um, my name is Red Receipt Show, if you guys can see this little sticky, it's right here. Before we get started, I would like to tell, um, I would like to introduce and welcome everyone to tonight's show. As you, as we, as I can see, I have a lot of um, audience members, so I have goosebumps under my blazer. Anyway, to get it started, let me. Before we get started, I would like to like to welcome everyone to the show tonight, and also welcome my my chief guest, Hades Palmer. Thank you. For all our Twitter viewers, 1.2 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Rayon's show right now. Thanks for having me here tonight. Thank you. And um, let me first um, get start, get it going by saying, when did you emigrate to Canada? I moved into Canada when it was 2003. I walked in with my family through the airport with uh, all the security guards and the whole airport was wearing masks. And it was just because of sound. It's, it's, uh, it was one of those uh, hair-raising experiences, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what got you interested in electronics? Electronics has been sort of my core uh, interest because of uh, the, the wide and novelty things you can just build out of it. There's so many things from electronic amplifiers, hearing aids, uh, toys, uh, robotic stuff, and anything you think of, you can actually adapt it into an electronic uh, situation. We talk about uh, sweepers in the house. Those are actually our new 2018 robots come to think of it. You just plug it in and it starts doing it. And it's all electronics in there. Everything is now beca becoming with the connection of AI now, and that's where my mind is going. Okay. Um, and here, what school or college did you attend? So, my primary school was a Christian school. It's called the Our Lady of Mercy Primary School. And uh, every Friday, we used to go to the church and I've been to church more than I've been to my own temple after that I went to a polytechnic uh, Kenya Polytechnic uh, after finishing high school and I did a course in electronics and telecommunication okay um, um, like can you um, can you be more specific when you mean, um, like what is your dream job in the future? In the future? Well, I would say even now. My dream job is working with, uh, let's put it this way, kids. They are our future, and anything I can impart on them, youth leadership, electronics, some of the toys that I grew up with, making model planes, make, doing electronics, painting, uh, making music. Some of these things, even though they teach them in school, it's on a curriculum. I did it non-linear, meaning I could start with knowing where, where the C starts and on the keyboard and you know the three black keys and the two notes and start playing music. Kids today, everything is got to be instant. And if I can get that information to them that much quicker, they can be up and running and on their feet that much quicker. Um, what are your interests besides work? Well, one of them is being on TV with uh, <laughs> the <Red Rashid, laughs> you know, on this talk show, for sure. Um, it's a very fetching question as well. My interest lies in expansion of everyone's minds. And Toastmasters is another one of the big interests that I have here. 
what do you think the future of cars will be come 20 years from now? Cars? Yeah. There will be no cars. <laughs> we will um, be levitating. Yeah. <laughs> we will just be doing a, a mind transfer and a virtual transfer. Right now we've got self-driven cars and self-driving uh, concepts here and there, stock, start, go. It will be no more. That will be a thing of the past. So there will be no cars. Let's just put it on it. We'll be traveling just through people's minds. That's right. 20 years. Hey, come on. Five years now, we're already there. How yeah, some people will not like it. Talk yeah. more about Kenya. Um, what's the weather like and the culture and stuff? Kenya. Oh, yeah. Kenya is on the equator. <laughs> And the beauty about being on the equator is that everything is equal. Equal sunshine, equal rain, equal nights, equal daylights, equal corruption, equal constipation. <laughs> <laughs> you get everything there. And within the, uh, a range of 500 miles from the lavish Mombasa coastline all the way to Mount Kenya, which is snow capped, the only mountain in Africa, you get to see the entire wildlife along that way. And um, finally, um, let me look at back at my question. What? Um, how do you get into the entrepreneurial business? And could you explain how to sell a product? So. Yeah, there are two parts. First, let's decide, let's understand what an entrepreneur is. Somebody who has an idea, has a business plan, and hits it. Secondly, how do you start it? First, you get your skills together. You don't have to have money, but you've got to have a plan. As soon as you get your plan off the ground, you get a team, write a business plan, and then start your business. In the end, always celebrate, get everyone on the social media, and get that word out as fast as you can. Okay, that's all the question I have for today's talk show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ryan.